how are you? Uh, Alex, how are you? Okay, sir. Oh. Okay. Doctor, oh, okay. I like you, of course. Okay, I'll be there in a oh, minute, sir. Okay. I'm on my way. You're not yes, easy at all. Okay, sir. I'm going to Oh. <coughs> Sorry to intrude, young ladies. Uh, at this one, I'm going downstairs to see the MD. Whoever comes or calls should wait or call back in 20 minutes' time. Okay. Is that sir. Okay. okay. Uh, excuse me, sir. Oh. I finished typing the documents. Should I put them on your table? Okay, that's okay. I'll read through them when I get back. Okay, sir. Yes, you are. That's your point such an answer, man. Hmm. I know you. You don't know anything about the marriage. Don't you know? They are the best in town. In fact, they are more caring and generous than those useless children who are always so scared of responsibilities. I bet just leave me make I do my work, okay? I did try my best, not just the work at all. You sure say you know your job, sir? Hmm? After over a month of being here, have you been able to I'm sorry.
good fun. Come, please, so that mommy can finish. Okay? Alright. God's time is the best. My dear, we will both answer my prayers when I get to the house. Please don't complain. Hey, forget them now. Eh? See the way your husband is taking it. Eh? You have to be strong. So what did you call me out here for? I wanted to give you a special present before I leave. That's very thoughtful. So where is it? Could you please close your eyes and count to me? I guess why well, you don't have anything with you. Come on, let's go inside before people start thinking there's something going on between the two of us. Please, please, yes. please just do it. Please, please. I'm going to count to five and after five I'm gone. What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry. This is my matrimonial home, for heaven's sake. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm sorry. You better be. I didn't mean any harm. It was just my own little way of saying congratulations and welcome to your new office. I promise. I promise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't cry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. I'm sorry. But don't do it again. So I'll find out.
Uh, you pick up some fast food for me at uh, the Simeon's. I'll go Palace Way. Okota. Okay. I'm waiting for you. I'm very hungry. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. <coughs> oh, this one. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much, Adeswa. That's very thoughtful of you. <laughs> you will not believe that I even forgot. It was my wife who reminded me this morning. I have a surprise present for you. I hope you will appreciate it. Not again. I don't want to be part of any of your surprises because I didn't find it funny the last time. Oh no, I, I promise not to be mischievous this time. Please. 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 Okay, I'm all ears. I will like to invite you for dinner tonight. Please don't say no. This is not the way to go about it. Anyway, I am not in the mood for too much talk. And I'm in my ovulation period. You know what that means, don't you? doing it. You didn't enjoy it. Look, if you know what is good for you, you better keep quiet and take the responsibility. Or the whole world would know what was going on. And if you think I don't have any proof, then you're making a mistake. Because I've got all the proof. Here. I just want. What do you want? How much? Tell me, I'll give it to you. I don't want your money. It is you that I want. This one, but you know you cannot have. Oh, oh, oh! Please save it. Some money, I asked him to take and asked him to take the day off. Oh, it's okay. 
Well, why don't you just go and have a bath while I serve your food? Food? I am full. I was so hungry, so I rushed into a booker to eat. Booker? Oh, poor you. <laughs> Daddy had booker. Yes, he had booker. Booker. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Felix, you're laughing at me. <laughs> when he comes back. When I come back, I'll give him. Oh, when you come back. Doctor. Yes, madam. You said there's nothing wrong with us biologically. So what's the problem? So, madam, you have um, a hormonal imbalance which we are trying to correct. Uh, but it's not a really big problem, though. So what do we do? Yeah, like I said, uh, there's nothing much you can do except to keep your fingers crossed and pray. So what of the new test result? What's the position? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I was coming to that. The test result is quite encouraging. She's good. Both of you are responding positively to treatment. So we can say there is hope. Yes, of course, of course, you can say that. Um, from all indications, in another two to three months, your wife's womb will be ready for fertilization. Hallelujah, Madam. All you need to do is try not to worry much. Yes. Um, in due course, in no time. I promise. Oh. I want you to leave me alone. I don't want this relationship to continue. Why don't you? I am having a swell time. Adesua, can't you see that this is capable of destroying my marriage? Oh. So it is only your selfish interest that bothers you. What's about the way I feel? Doesn't it mean anything to you? But I don't feel the same way. I didn't ask for this, you did. At least why can't you understand that this cannot work out? With time, it will definitely work out. And what are you aiming at? Or do you expect me to divorce my wife and marry you? I haven't said that. Well, come to think of it, it might not be a bad idea after all. At this point, I can see that you're out of your mind. You're crazy. You're sick in your head. Look, now let me tell you, and I want you to get this into your head. It is over between the two of us. We are back to what we were before now. And that is official. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Now get out of my office. Okay, darling. Now give mommy thumbs up. Thumbs up for the mommy. Daddy, daddy, we need 
Can't you keep quiet for once? Can't you see that I'm reading papers? Get out of here! I say leave here! When I keep things in this house, I don't find them where I left them. If you calm down, you will find them. Instead of this setting the whole house up, please. What are you saying? I'm a madman. Is that not it? I'm a madman. So I can talk the way I like in my own house. What do you want to do? Eh? I don't wear ties. To tell you the truth, Felix, I really don't know what's going on anymore. You snap at every little thing, get angry over unusual things. You even pick on your own son. Maybe I should just leave this room for you. Jimmy, Jimmy. I'm sorry, okay. What's going on? What did I do wrong? The fault is with me. The problem is with me. And not you. But I'll be fine. I'll be fine. You're yeah, sure? Yes, I will. If you're sure you're right, let's go for it. It's all thanks to you for your guidance. And more thanks to them is for providing the cash. So, can you compare it to your one room apartment of two months ago? <laughs> so, how far now? Is the proposal coming on the way? <laughs> proposal? Far from it. Just last week. Dennis told me it was all over. Really? Are you sure you're handling it well? Very well, of course. So, how much time do you spend with him aside from being together in the office? Um, about two hours every weekend. You know now, Dennis is nasty outgoing time. Excuse me. This one. 
You don't have to bend to his whims. Take charge. You have to call the shots. Maybe you need to add a new man. You know men now, they love competition. Yeah. And that is how you get to know who loves you more. Can't you see what Doctor and Chief are doing for me? What, what do you suggest I do? This one. Suggestions, suggestions, suggestions. I am tired of giving you suggestions. You don't seem to be taking them at all. You are looking at your living example straight in the eye. What more could you ask for? If you, all I have to tell you is that if you give him a meetup, he will take a mile. And I have an appointment with the doctor this afternoon. So I want to go with Ngo. So she can stop by okay, the market. Okay, mommy, I'm coming. All right, darling. Okay. Yes. So she can stop by the market to buy some things. Is Felix coming with you? Oh, yes, he is. He's been asking too many questions. So I want to take him to the hospital. So we can ask the doctor who has all the answers to all his questions. I don't want to go to the hospital. But you want to know what is inside mommy's belly? No, I don't want to go there. All right, all right, don't worry. Doctor won't give you any injection, okay? Good boy. Yes. All right, we'll be on our way, darling. Okay. Felix, take care of your mother. Okay, say bye bye to daddy. Bye bye. Bye. Good day. Oh. Oh. Felix, how are you? Fine. Uh, oh, well, we're already on our way out. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, not at all. Um, I actually brought some documents for Olga to sign. I mean, since he will be traveling tomorrow. Traveling? Yes. Tomorrow? Oh, 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 yes. Okay. Um, anyway, visit us some other time, okay, so we can spend some time together. I definitely will. Alright. Alright, see you. Bye-bye. 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 Let's go to market that way. Let's go to What are you doing here? I missed you. But why? But I... Oh, but I thought I'd made myself clear on this issue. What? Now, how dare you come to my house? This is my matrimonial home, for heaven's sake. Please keep your voice down. Don't tell me to keep my voice down in my own house. What do you think you're doing? This is, this is my wife and my house. My house can come. This is my, this is my house and my wife can come in any moment from now. Stop it. This is my matrimonial home.
I'm very sorry I can explain. Both of you. Mm -hmm. the, the fact was that you didn't understand what was Yes. I'm not as stupid as you think. I perfectly understand. So she's the reason why you've been keeping late nights. She's the reason why you've been ignoring your father. What did I ever do wrong? What did I do so wrong that you treat me this way? If you must continue with your immoral acts, why, why don't you do it outside? Why bring her to our home? In my matrimonial home. On a matrimonial bed. Have I changed? Have I changed from the same woman you swore to the crucifix to live and love for the rest of your life? I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I, I, I promise it won't happen Don't again. What did you promise? Look at my condition, Dennis. Just see my condition. You don't even pity me. You don't feel sorry for me. I said, I'm very sorry. I promise it won't happen again. Just a fool. What did you just call me? Did you just call me a fool? It's me if you think it will hurt more than what you've just done. It's me. Mommy, mommy, why are you shouting? You're quiet. No, darling. Daddy and I were just praying. Is that also Daddy? I'm not crying.
working at is ready. Oh Where is Dennis? Is he not back from work yet? Dennis. Dennis has not been home for the past three days. What? I'm telling you. Have you tried calling him? I have. Honey, I have tried calling him several times. It's like the phone is switched off. Let me try calling him again. Please do. Hello? Hello. Yes, thank God I got him. Dennis. Dennis, where have you been for Christ's sake? Where is she? She's resting at she's resting at home. Oh my god, what have I done? I hope she's okay. So when are you coming? What is it? Where is he and when is he coming? I don't know. Only I don't know. Insulting me to my face. Who is talking about insult? You. You know what? You disgust me. You make me feel like throwing up. Just don't raise your voice in this house. We don't wake my Felix up. Felix. You and everybody else can go to hell for all I can. So that's all you can say. All you have to say after all you have done. And after all of it. Why is it that anytime I'm talking to you, you're always talking back? You will just take a present. Don't you have respect for me? Now listen to me. I don't want to see you in this house when I get back. Because two masters cannot live under the same roof. Huge joke. This. This my house. So you go to the airway. I will leave the house for you. It's almost 10 p.m. and my brother is not back. Does he stay out this late? I know, no. Um, actually, a friend of his called around um, 7.30. So, so he had to go. Okay. Well, our regards to him. Eh? I'll call you tomorrow, okay? All right. Yeah, good night. Yeah. I'll take care of yourself. Oh, yes, I He's do. asleep, eh? 
I will tell him you came. Okay. Sorry, oh, I can't see you to the car. This big man will let you. It's all right. It's all right. Who does it? Who does it? Sister. Why are you always going up for uncle? That is what every good wife should do. Never wash your dirty linen in public. Don't you think it's high time you let people know what's actually going on in this house? I don't, I don't think I want this to continue. I beg your pardon? What did I just hear you say? I mean that I cannot afford to keep two homes. So this has got to stop. Oh, you can't afford to keep two homes. Then do the right thing. And what is the right thing? I just what is the right thing? So you, you want me to marry you as a second wife? You know that is impossible. I married my wife in church. Yes! Tell me, please. Are you the first person to get married in the church? You talk about marriage as if it's one big thing. If you can't love me, please try and tolerate me. I love you. Can't you see? Why are you treating me as if I don't even have feelings? Why? That is why it's not so. I just want you to understand. How am I going to break this to my wife? She's been so nice to me. I'm not asking you to divorce her. I'm carrying your child for God's sake. I know, I just so I know. All I'm just asking is just for you to give me some time. Ah, Mama. You are here? Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Ah. I know it's Chica. She's fine. Uh, Felix is in school, I suppose. Give this to him when he comes back. Okay, ma. Uh, just what is after work. That should bring it. Um, thank you, Mama. Thank you. Mm. Are you okay? Yes, ma'am. You're not okay. I'm fine, Mama. I, I just woke up. Chi, you've been crying. Tell me I'm your mother. What is it? It's, it's, it's nothing, Mama. It's... I know. Is your husband, isn't it? <laughs> Stop crying. I've been lying all this while. There is the travel. He moved out because he had a quarrel. Quarrel? How come? When did you become a nag? But that is not enough reason for him to leave the house. Uh, I think there is more to this. What really? Mama, nothing. Just a quarrel. Are you sure the fault is not from you? Eh? Are you sure? Have you tried to make it up with him? I just talked to him before you came. And what did he say? Said he'll come home this weekend. <laughs> Let's talk. You see, men need attention a lot. They behave like babies and want to be treated as one. They don't like when they talk and you talk back. I know Dennis. He's quite a good boy. I mean, it is not as if I'm trying to put the blame on you because of what has happened. It's the devil. But you don't have to let the devil into it. 
But you don't have to give in to the devil. No matter what happens, don't give her up. Try and meet your husband midway so that you can resolve your differences. Okay? Wipe your tears. Wipe it. Um, promise me you'll try and see him over the weekend. Try and apologize to him. Trying to phone him is not just enough. You understand? Just try and see him. <laughs> Dr. Akins told me you were at the clinic this morning with Felix. What happened? My sister. My hand is paining me. I'm not sorry to call you here. Sorry, my darling. I really don't know what happened. I don't know how anything happens anymore. Eh? See what your brother has turned me into. God. It's all right, Chinanya. Chinanya. Please, take things easy. Felix will be all right, okay? He'll be all right. Have you spoken to your husband lately? The last day you were here was the last time we spoke. Mm. Jesus. Rita, please don't tell your husband. No! Don't tell your husband, please. Don't tell anybody, please. Oh my God. Mommy, mommy, I want my daddy. Don't worry, your daddy will come. Yes. Yeah? Yes, Don't mom. Worry. I'll give you the phone, you'll call your daddy to come home, you hear? Yes, mom. Okay, darling. Mommy, my hand is pain me, I want my daddy. Sorry, sorry, darling, sorry, eh? Okay. Come, come, call him, mama, hold you. See what I have to go through every day. See what I have to go through. Oh, Jesus. Please, I am begging you, please. Take this easy. At the rate you're going, you will fall sick. Please. Ah. What is all this nonsense for Christ's sake? Why are you doing this to yourself? Why? Where is Felix? Upstairs. Do me a favor. Take him with you, eh? I'm ashamed of myself. I can't take care of him. I can't take care of me. Your brother, gone with another one. I just might lose my mind very soon. So? If my brother is gone with another woman, so you should kill yourself, is that the end of the world? Look, you'll be okay. Alright? You'll be alright. Now if I tell for this to me, what happens to you? I should die. I wait till he comes back. Sit down. Okay. I will take Felix with me, under one condition. You will stop drinking. If I... St oh, I'll try. No, 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 no. You're not going to try. You will stop drinking. You will stop drinking, Chinene. I'll try. I, I, okay. Okay. I'll, I'll stop. Stop. <sighs> Don't go get shower, okay? Why did you lie to me? Why? What are you talking about, Mama? Why are you asking us if you don't know? I don't understand. Why didn't you tell me the other day that Demis is now living with another woman? I said it! I said there is more to that quarrel, didn't I? How can a trivial quarrel make a man leave his family? And when I asked my daughter, she refused to tell me the truth. 
Chi? Why? Why? Mama. Look at yourself. Take a look at yourself. See what you've talked into. Take a look at yourself. Mama, I thought I could handle it. How can you handle it? How? You keep this away from me. I am your mother. Eh? Chi, you surprise me. You surprise me. I'm sorry, Mama. I, I was so confused. Please forgive me. You should have told me earlier. It couldn't have gotten to this sorry state. I think the best thing now is to move in with me. I can't watch my daughter and my grandchild suffer. No way! Honey. Yes, dear. Can you please talk to Dennis? Have you tried talking to him yourself? The last time I did, we almost quarreled. Whatever it is, he shouldn't have deserted his family like that. I hope he realizes that on time. Please talk to him. Maybe he will listen to you. I wasn't even thinking of going there tomorrow. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Are you not coming to bed? Are you not coming to bed? Please forget this and his case and come to bed. Yeah. 
dos nossos réus. Vai gritar! Oh, you mean the man that turned you to be what you are now? Mama, please. Don't marry me! What I told you to move in with me? You disagreed. You want to stay back and drink your life away because of a stupid boy? When Rosie told me she, she saw you were still drinking, I did not believe it. I know it is this alcohol that is stopping you. I hope by the time you get off you, it will be too late. Ah. Can't you see you are the reason why I'm still alive? After the death of your father, my brothers, in a ghastly motor accident, you guys are the only one left with me. You're supposed to be a shining example to your sisters. But you are making me so happy. Why? You know, I have my urgency. Then this is my husband. And I'm not going to give up on that. <laughs> Remember you're the one who said that I, I should never give up no matter what. Oh, I know my dear. But that is the worst thing that can ever happen to anyone. I hope you know what you are doing. Yes, Mama. Mm. My mind is made up. <laughs> Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law that don't mind their businesses. He should go and think on how to impregnate his wife. Enough of this one. Enough of that. That's no issue to me at all. What concerns me is you and my unborn child. And not your so-called brother-in-law. Will you show up your lady? Deliberate. Come on, honey. I, I'm so sorry. I said I'm sorry. Okay. You, you, you haven't touched. I said I'm. Leave me alone. Yeah. I just 
Cancel the traditional wedding because the yams are not enough. I said you had an accident and um, a good Nigerian brought you in here. I'm sorry, your uh, driver died on the spot. You mean Adam is dead? Unfortunately, yes. What of my wife? Uh, well, um, she had a minor injury and um, she has since been discharged. Um, what about the baby she's carrying? What baby are you talking about? Only the three of you were brought in. Doctor, I, I mean... I mean? I don't mean the baby. I mean the pregnancy. Did she lose it? She's not pregnant. And if she is, uh, I mean, I would have known. What are you talking about? My wife was pregnant. 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 From what I have here, she wasn't. Doctor, are you sure? Are you sure that she's not pregnant? She wasn't pregnant. She's not. From what I have here, she's not pregnant. what you have done to my life. What about mine? Oh, you only care about yourself. Have you even given it a thought about how I feel? Have you?
Yes. Oh, Chinyan, how are you? Yeah. Um, I just called to let you know that I'd like to come and take Felix with me this weekend. Chinyan, are you sure you can handle it? You know what happened last weekend? I know. I haven't had a drink for three days now. Are you sure of what you're saying? Believe me, I've, I've stopped drinking. I'm clean now. Glory be to God. I know. Um, I'd like to keep him with me after the out, and I, I hope you don't mind. No, I don't. But this is your child. Look, look, I've been the happiest person to see you on your feet again. Tell him what I just said. I just hope it will be okay with him. Oh, definitely. No problem at all. I'm letting you know. Okay? Hold it. I've been locked my Good evening, Mom. What is good about the evening? And what do you want? I... I came to look for my wife and my child. Did I hear you say your wife? Which one? Is it the one you've abandoned or run away with? Eh? Dennis, which one? Mama, I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you people. I, I went to the house. The house was empty, so I decided to come here too. Come look for them. You couldn't have come here to look for my child. After you have ruined her life. Do you want to go and kill her finally? Eh? I don't even know why I should be asking you all this. Dennis, leave my house this moment. Mama, I have Get very out! Your wife are not here! Mama, it was not my fault. Dennis, get out. Mama, I can explain. I said get out! It was not, I can explain, Mama. It was not my fault. Please take uh, Alex and Let's go get some juice, okay? Please return those things are ready. Come on with them, so I can just go with them straight.
it all started when we had a Thanksgiving party. What do you think you're doing? Sorry. This is my matrimonial home, for heaven's sake. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You better be. I didn't mean any harm. It was just my own little girl saying I'm Welcome to your office. Do you know what's you better keep quiet and take the responsibility. Or the whole world will know what was going on. And if you think I don't have any proof, then I'll make you a mistake. Because I've got all the I want your money. It is you that I want. This is what you know you cannot have. Oh, 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 please say this. So, what about this? Couldn't we have waited? How to talk to the mother of each It only happened only once. Oh. Is once not enough? Adiswa, so well, why are you doing this to me? Oh, no, no, not again. Let's not go into that, okay? All we have to talk about is what to do next. Adiswa, so well, I, I think we should get rid of this. I think we should get rid of this. I'll get a very good doctor. I'll pay the bills and... I'll take care of everything. I am going to keep this baby. And I don't intend aborting my first child. And who is going to father this you, baby? You, of course. Or do you have any problem with that? Oh, God. This is why I, 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 I still think we should there get There is them. nothing to talk about. Okay? Nothing. Let me just take you home. So, uh, you ran off with her and abandoned us. Eh? I didn't mean to hurt you. Well? I found myself in a very tight corner. I was forced to dance to her tune, and I thought I could beat her to her game, but... Yes, you thought you could eat your cake and have it. You can go back to her for all I can. What were you expecting? That we will just open up our arms and welcome you back after all you have done? Jimmy, I'm very sorry. Just hang on, I've not finished. You left us. Because one lady said she was pregnant for me. Didn't I bear you a child? Is this a stone? Chilini, I'm sorry. Tell that to my left foot. I will not buy it. Chilini, I am not selling it. Chilini, please give him another chance. Chilini, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please. No. I still love you. No. Chilini. Please, for the sake of the child. Please, forgive me. I love you and I will love you for the rest of my life. It's okay now. Do you want? 
me dead. Eh, Chinege, you are my first daughter. What is all this? Mama, please, for the sake of your grandchild, please. Mama, he was blackmailed. Please find a space in your heart to forgive him. Mama, he had just explained everything to us. Please, let's forget the past and look forward to the future. Yeah. What else can I say? You cannot say anything. Felix, I'm sorry. Ada. <laughs> well, 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 well. I don't think there will be a better moment than now to say this. I am very, very happy to announce to all that my dearest wife Rita is finally pregnant. Yay! <laughs> Praise God! <laughs> 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 <laughs>